Hey everybody, Vapologist here, and I recently realized how important it is, to me at least, that I have a vaporizer in the kitchen when I'm cooking. A nice Chianti or Merlot and a full Crafty are definitely the main ingredients in all of my dishes. But seriously, I've been thinking about how to use a vaporizer in my cooking to extract essential oils from herbs and put them into my beefs, chickens, porks, and vegetables. But the more I think about it, the more I realize that these little ovens are capable of the same heat range that we cook food at. So what can I do to actually cook food in a vaporizer? So let's make some Pax brownies. Medicated? Of course. Okay, I started by cleaning the bowl and the air path with some ISO. And then repeated this process with a Q-tip that was lightly damp with water and allowed that to dry fully. I used two syringes, a one milliliter and a five milliliter, a Ziploc bag, brownie mix, an egg, oil and water. With the fully charged packs, I lined the oven with cooking spray that I put on a Q-tip. Definitely don't use more than it takes to coat. Any excess should be avoided. Just to be safe, I used all natural coconut cooking spray. Empty the dry mix into the bowl, then separately mix the wet ingredients and then add them to the dry ingredients. Mix until blended smooth and then add chocolate sauce if needed. And if you wish, you can shave some chocolate to sprinkle on top before you put it in the oven. For the Pax brownie, all you have to do is put some herbs in the bottom of the Pax. You can mix it in, it's your choice, but this is just a test, so I put in just a little bit to see what happened. Then I put some brownie mix into the corner of a Ziploc and created a small pastry bag of sorts and cut off a tiny portion of the corner. I filled the first 5 milliliter syringe and then used that syringe to fill the smaller 1 milliliter syringe. It's a much more precise application, you can really see what you're doing. You don't want to add too much or that will definitely overflow as it rises when it begins to heat. Make sure you fill it only halfway full because of that. My first attempt was on high temperature setting and I turned it on and just left it for a few minutes. That was way too high and made a hard Cajun style cookie. No good at all. I played with the time and heat levels and found that the following worked perfectly. You put your packs on the lowest temperature setting and leave the oven lid off. Turn it on for 10 seconds, then turn it off for 30 seconds. Then on for 5 seconds, off for 30 seconds, and repeat that step 20 times over the next 12 minutes. If you used enough cooking spray, the brownie should fall right out. But if not, try and tap it out. Otherwise, you can push from behind the brownie via the air path. Also make sure the screen is not attached to the brownie. Not tasty. It takes a crazy amount of attention to the oven heater, but it was a complete success. Here are three perfectly edible attempts that would be excellent hors d'oeuvres at the launch party for the PAX 3. The PAX works just as it did before the brownies. The bowls I loaded just after the brownies were probably the best tasting I have ever had in my life. Do you need a new diet plan to cut down on overeating? Don't have enough oil for an entire batch of brownies? The next time you want a portable, bite-sized medible on the go, look no further than the packs. While I'm thinking about what else to cook in my packs, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also head over to vaporizersview.com for more info on the packs and other high-end vaporizers.